Hey guys, how's it going? It's that nerd Ryan here, um, talking about for the Star Wars week, what I expect to or what I hope for Galaxy's Edge. Um, so interestingly enough, when this video is posted, I will either have gone, be at, or will be going within the next few days to Galaxy's Edge. But I'm recording this basically a month ahead, just because I'll be out of town. I know it would be more interesting of me recording, walking around there, but that will be for the January vlog. So we'll see how much of this comes true. So, um, interestingly enough, with the current situation of the world, um, we don't know how much of this will actually be able to go into place. But um, I have about four goals that I want to reach and I hope to at least do two. So the most major one will be creating my own lightsaber. That is a dream that I've had my entire life of being able to create my own lightsaber. And like even thinking of it now gets me really, really excited um, and really, 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 really just, I feel like a kid thinking about it. Um, I want to choose a blue lightsaber, but we'll go with in the moment of what color. I kind of have an image of it in my head on what it, I want it to look like, but again, I want to just go with the flow and we'll see what happens. Another would be to either try blue or green milk. I really do prefer blue, um, but if I get green, I am going to give Angie and the camera the same reaction Luke gives in The Last Jedi. Um, that's another part of that is trying at least one or two of the foods there. Um, this one might be a little hard considering the current climate of the world, um, but that's something that I would really want to do. Another would be to enjoy the rides, um, as in like the Rise of the Resistance, the Flight of the Falcon, those rides. I really want to fly the Falcon. Um, I feel that it would be so fun to do, um, at least take a picture in front of the Falcon. It would be amazing, um, just to see that. And again, it's one of those moments where like the kid in me is like really fighting to get out and something that I'm really excited about. Another one would to be, or be to see a very famous Star Wars character. Obviously we're going to be seeing a lot of stormtroopers, a lot of like just average people of the Star Wars universe walking around selling things, stuff like that. But like if I could run into Kylo Ren or Rey or V. Morardi, anything like that, that would be really cool to see. Um, take a picture, stuff like that, interact. I feel like that would be really, really cool. Um, this is also my first time at Disney, so I don't know what to fully expect. And I'm just really excited to see where it all goes, how it all goes, and things like that. Um, another half of this video, what I wanted to do was just talk about my knowledge of Galaxy's Edge so far in the Star Wars universe, um, considering that this is supposed to, when you walk onto the entry gates of uh, Black Spire, you are officially on Batu in the Star Wars universe. Um, you are no longer on Earth. You are literally on another planet. Um, so basically, Batu is on the outskirts of the known regions of Star Wars. It's um, or the Star Wars galaxy. Somehow, um, we don't know the full distance. It's kind of a midpoint, though, between most of the known Republic regions, New Republic regions, Imperial regions, and the Chiss Ascendancy. Um, as you can see in Thrawn Alliances and Thrawn Ascendancy Chaos Rising, um, it's kind of the midpoint between the Chaos and the Star Wars Galaxy. Um, even though the Chaos is technically part of that, it's the Unknown Regions, basically. So... We, you can see, basically, anybody that goes there, 
in the Star Wars universe will probably see species that they've never seen before, people that from planets they've never heard of. It's kind of a stopping point of just like a refueling point, a trading post, stuff like that. Um, kind of just the, all the cultures that you could think of in the Star Wars universe kind of put together, which is why it's so perfect of a place for people to go because you get a little bit of the prequel trilogy, a little bit of the original trilogy, and a little bit of the new trilogy, all kind of mixed in one, which is really cool to look at um, to see all these different cultures mixed in together. Um, and I'm talking like they're real cultures, but they're fake cultures, obviously, but it's something that's pretty cool to think of that it's something that we haven't truly seen in the movies yeah we have Tatooine but that's all like scum and villainy um hiding from the government yes Batu, you go to to start a new life most of the time but you still have so many other people there there for so many different reasons I w that's another thing I would like to do is just talk to some of the actors and everything and see what the backstory is of why they decided that they had to go to Batu. If they're here for trading or if they're here for a life debt or something like that, it would be something so cool just to interact and everything. Um, and I'm so excited to show you guys at the end of the month what it was like. Um, so this video is a little bit shorter than um, most of my videos. Next month we'll probably be talking more about the High Republic um, so stay tuned for that. Really hope you guys like this video. Remember, we have uh, goals this year. The next goal is um, for 100 subscribers, where I'll be kind of doing a um, special of sorts, along with adding better thumbnails, and hopefully have a channel icon by then. So that'll be pretty cool for you guys. Um, if you could help me reach 100 subscribers. If you want to know the full ranking, watch my Happy New Year video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Stay tuned for the end of the month. And remember, we're all Jedi Masters on the inside.